Of course, we are in a strong position. Internationally, our reputation is high and the economy is growing vigorously. One of the reasons the economy is doing well is because the IRs have been a success. Millions of tourists are coming, literally millions of tourists are coming, visiting the IRs and spending time in Singapore. I think we are expecting around 12 million tourists this year, which is going to be a record. Our financial center is surging ahead. All the banks and financial institutions here. Throughout the financial crisis, when banks elsewhere were retrenching, closing, cutting back, they were growing their center in Singapore, quietly moving activities, headcounts here, recruiting here, getting more office space here, making Singapore a key financial center for Asia, stronger now than before the crisis because people have confidence in Singapore, they know the economy is stable, they know the government is stable, they know the people of Singapore have what it takes to see through a crisis. And so we have a strong position as a financial centre. We have good investments flowing in, world-class investments. For example, recently I went to one factory opening, it's REC, it's right at the end of Tuas, you're not likely to have seen it, but it's, REC is a Norwegian company which makes solar cells, and this is one of the biggest solar cell factories in the world. And they came to Singapore not because we produce silicon, not because we have cheap electricity, not because we are buying a lot of solar cells in Singapore, but because Singapore is competitive, and here they have confidence, and therefore here they are creating jobs. Our R&D is making progress. We are bringing in scientists, world-class ones, from America, from Europe, from Japan. They are bringing their labs here. They are bringing their ideas here. They are bringing their students here. They are doing research here and developing a biomedical research cluster, as well as in some other areas, which is, we hope, going to make progress and breakthroughs which will take science forward and take Singapore forward. So there's every reason for us to be confident of the future. The strong growth has benefited all of us, workers particularly. The civil service has announced this year's year-end pay payments. I read the reports in the newspapers. I saw all the union leaders, especially the union MPs, smiling. But the private sector will have to settle their own end-of-year bonuses and also their collective agreements. And I think where the companies are doing well, there will be reason for the employers to be generous and to be fair. Because when there are tough times, we tighten our belts together, as we did over the last couple of years. When things are good, we, it has to be in the same spirit. We have the benefits shared, and that strengthens our bond for the next time. For the country as whole, I think Taman tells us, he hasn't shown us figures yet, but he tells us that the government revenues have been better than we projected in February. So we will not have an early budget this year, but when the budget comes, with some luck, we should have some good news. <laughs>